Hey guys, it's Chatty Dad One with you today. What I want to talk about with you is geoengineering chemtrails and chem dumps, also known as chem bombs, and contrails and manufacturing weather. And recently, they uh, they can't ignore the fact anymore about geoengineering and what's going on. Because, um, you know, everybody sees it. And they have been very brazen about, you know, coming out and telling everybody what's going on, what they're doing, and they're absolutely... Um, you know, bragging about it. But what is happening is they're trying to slow down the process of global warming and they are making some difference. It is helping in some areas, but it's causing major harm in other areas. Um, they are staving back the heating process. But they're not allowing the planet to take over and heal itself like it needs to. This is causing catastrophic problems with the weather, with poisoning the air, poisoning of the water, poisoning the people. Now, um, you know, you can look up in the sky and see the difference. You can see when a plane is, is dropping chemtrails or it's got a contrail. Um, this is what they want to do also. They want to put these things out in the ocean where they can dump this stuff even more. They want to ramp this stuff up, guys. I mean, big time. They really want to ramp this whole thing up and increase it tenfold from what they're doing. They say, you know, what they're doing is not enough, that they need to do more. And what they need to do is let the planet heal itself. They don't need to do more. They don't need to do what they're doing. But they do. They want to um, do it over the sea. They want to do it, you know, in the air. They want to do it as much as they can everywhere. And uh, stuff like this happens. You have planes dropping major quantities of seriously toxic chemicals. And, you know, who knows what else they're dropping. I've seen reports that um, that they're dropping biological waste along with chemicals and they're dispersing of Agent Orange, um, herbicides, pesticides, all kinds of stuff. Now you can get an effect from geoengineering. The clouds can produce this type of effect. It's a very beautiful looking effect and it's got kind of a rainbow looking effect. The reason why this happens is the same reason when you take a clear bowl of water, go out into the sunshine, and in a clear bowl of water put one drop of gasoline in there and watch the colors swirl. Watch and see how many colors come out. You'll see all the colors of the rainbow and then some. It's it's quite beautiful, but it's very toxic. The reason this is, is because these chemicals are combining with the moisture in the air and in the sky. And it is reflecting this light through it. And it's, you know, making these colors. We've seen changes in our weather to the extreme that we have seen clouds um 
drop way lower than they usually are. We've seen monster clouds form. We've had dust storms to which the likes we don't see here in the United States, or we didn't used to. We have major problems going on right now with algae blooms and with stuff like that going on in the oceans. And with that, if there's that much algaes and stuff growing in the oceans, that means that the ocean is not able to breathe and move like it should. And that's a major problem. That's big time problems for us. And see, they've been doing this since the um, late 40s and 50s. Guys, they've been doing this for a long time. Geoengineering. But, um, yeah, they want to ramp it up. They want to ramp it up, notch it up, um, and do all they can to try to fix things. But it's causing more problems than it's it's doing more harm than good, what I'm trying to say. Way more harm than good. Making people sick. We've seen outbreaks of different new diseases. We've had massive bird die-offs, massive animal die-offs, fish die-offs. Um, on a major scale, there's major problems. When you do this on a scale that we've seen them do this, there's going to be major problems. You don't fool with Mother Nature like that. See, they're creating this layer, and they want to reflect the sunlight off of this layer of um, metals and this cloud layer. They want to make a space mirror, basically. A reflective surface all the way around the planet, or at least on the sun side, to reflect the light. Well, this is working to some extent, but like I said, it's causing major problems in other areas. Um, you know, and the powers that be, they would like nothing better than to have themselves a nice little island and have one of these giant cities and live out there on their own untouched by the world and do what they want and have their own little way and control things from afar that way nobody can touch them nobody can get them but um yeah we've got major problems with this whole thing the geoengineering, chemtrails, and chem bombs. This is just some neat buildings that I was looking at. Um, but that's just what they want to get. They want to poison everything. But I don't think they're all intentionally doing it. These are some of the things that showed in that diagram. And these are like giant CO2 scrubbers. And they want to put these things all in the oceans. So, you know, not good. Not good. We've seen chemtrails showing up in kids' movies and kids' shows and cartoons, um, making it look normal to like it's supposed to be like that. They're spending major amounts of money on this. See the rainbow colors here? And this one, that's from the chemicals. 
Now look at this cloud here. That's from a chemical dump or a chemical bomb. Notice the way these clouds look. They look like almost like a pyroplastic flow from a volcano. Which, of course, this is not what that is. These are just huge, um, huge storm clouds produced by geoengineering, by weather modification. They're producing these monster clouds and these monster, um, you know, weather patterns. I mean, look at the size of these clouds. When you have a cloud climbing to this range and dropping to this range, and look at that. Look at the massive size of that cloud formation. It's huge, huge. But, um, you know, it's not good. It's not good. Things like this. I mean, look at that. It looks like a pyroplastic flow, doesn't it? It's because it's not a natural cloud. It's created. And they also use HARP to excite this, um, these molecules in these chemicals. To create some of this stuff. It can superheat up in the atmosphere and create burn off and, and different types of things. And it can also change these chemicals into other things, into other chemicals. The same way with when you burn something, it turns into a different chemical. It turns into a gas instead of a, a liquid. And that's what they're doing when they're using harp to uh, excite the atmosphere. With after they've done these um, geoengineering chemtrail and and chem dumps, they hit it with harp, and the effect is just unbelievable. I mean, when we have things like this, I mean, you know, this is not normal, guys. This is not normal. And it's not good. Here's another picture of it. Just a different view. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Nature does not produce clouds like that. Man does. And they've just recently, within these last ten years, been hitting it real hard with harp. But this is the result of geoengineering right here. Major flooding. Major disasters on a global scale because it affects everyone and everywhere on a major scale there's flooding there's drought that it creates I mean it just does major damage here's some here's a picture of uh, what it can look like when the sun comes shining through it these um, chem dumps and these chem trails from geoengineering I mean it's beautiful to look at but very toxic if you see clouds like that try not to stay under them <laughs> that's all I can say try not to stay under them because they're very toxic but like I said, they are beautiful. Look at that. But look at how low these clouds are. And that's what we've been seeing more and more of. These low cloud banks that come way down and uh, just engulf everything around them. 
you've seen the pictures of the uh, clouds coming up on the the shore of the of the beaches. Um, there was one in uh, Panama City, I believe, not too long back, or Pensacola, one or the other. I saw one on the way down to uh, Tampa a couple weeks ago. It was just almost right on the ground. A huge, huge wall of clouds. But this is what we're seeing. And this is part of the signs in the heavens as well. This is part of that. Because this will cause some of the tribulations right here. This is going to bring about some of them. You can't do this without repercussions. Anyways, I'm just about done. But I just had a lot of pictures I wanted to show you guys. A lot of images. Pretty amazing. Of the geoengineering chem dumps and chemtrails. Geoengineering chemtrails and chem dumps. And this is the planes they do it with. Right under our nose they have whole fleets of them ready to go. If they can drop stuff like this. And they can drop water. They can drop anything they want. From anywhere. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. This is not natural phenomena. This is a man-made thing. Geoengineering and harp combination is weather modification and weather control. It can destroy nations. Anywhere. And, uh, you know, it can temporarily help out certain things. But in the long run, it's always going to be bad. Anyways, that's about it for you. For now, I hope uh, everyone's having a great day. Look at this. See, that's not natural. No, that's not natural. Anyway, guys. I hope everyone's well. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. God help us all. You guys have a great day. Over and out.